Hi, Bill Barber from Polygon here. In this video, you'll learn how to install and use the Polygon Toolbox for Unreal Engine 4. Before we get started though, let's make sure we have all the required files. You can download the Toolbox itself from the link in the video description. We'll also download this material, Wood Flooring 044, just so we have a material to, to, to test this out with. After it's downloaded, you can unzip the material to wherever it is you keep your materials, or just move the zip file there and the Toolbox will unzip it for you. As for the toolbox, unzip it somewhere on your hard drive and then open the installation file. It will prompt you to specify where your Unreal installation is located and then if you have multiple versions the installer will identify them all and you can pick and choose which ones you want to install the toolbox to. Okay, so jumping over to Unreal, uh, I have the default Collab Viewer template loaded up um, as it fits nicely with the wood flooring. So let's uh, get straight down to it. You can open the Polygon Toolbox by clicking the Polygon icon up here on the right, um, next to the Marketplace. The first time you open the Toolbox, you'll need to direct it to the folder where your Polygon assets are stored. After it updates, we'll now see all the available materials. I obviously have quite a few. For you, it might just be wood flooring 044. The Toolbox will list every material and model that it finds in that root folder that you've selected. Once we select the material, you'll see it gives us a few options. We can choose to omit any of the imported maps, pick various resolutions if we've downloaded multiple versions, um, and we can also enable or disable parallax occlusion mapping, which, if you don't already know, is a neat shading trick to add the appearance of depth without overly impacting performance. Great for really bumpy materials like a brick, for example. At the bottom, we have two options on how to import the material, either as a material or as an instance. You may be aware of these terms already, but in case you're not, the material import will give you full access to the material, all of the nodes and other settings you may want to alter. We'll be looking at this in more detail in the next video. An instance, however, is like a linked reference to a material. You can alter a few preset variables, and this is typically what you'd want to actually assign to a model. So this is what we'll load in now. After clicking on that, the toolbox will load the material instance and it will appear in your content browser just like anything else you've used in the past. We can then drag and drop it onto our floor and apply it to our scene. Let's take a look at the controls that come with a material instance. Um, let's double click on it and you'll see that we have a, a few different variables we can change. We can use the UV tiling value to adjust the scale of our material so it better matches the scale of our scene. For this particular floor mesh, a value of 0.01 .01 seems to work well. We can also use the roughness strength to adjust the level of glossiness. Lowering it will make our floor a little shinier, for example. Let's go with 0.5. It's worth noting you can make these adjustments directly inside the toolbox uh, as well using these handy shortcuts. However, this particular scene I needed to use a smaller scale, um, so I did it within the instance itself. Uh, it will depend on the object that you apply the material to. Okay, let's move on to making use of downloaded Polygon models. In a very similar way to before, we'll reopen the toolbox, click on the Models tab here. Now, I've already downloaded a few models and placed them in the same folder, uh, and, uh, and they're all listed here. Um, so let's select it and hit Import. The asset will now be added to our content browser where it can be used like any other model. We'll just drag it into our scene and then position it accordingly. Unlike material instances, there aren't any post-import adjustments to be made. The designs just be imported and used as required. In the next video, we'll dive a little deeper by importing a material rather than an instance. We'll take a look at the material nodes created by the toolbox and how we can improve materials by adding in surface imperfection maps like floor smudges.